My name is Britt Arnold, formerly Tegler. I own Tegler Construction and Supply. We won the award in 2017. It was November, I believe. I started my business in September of 2016, so it had been one year in business. At that time, I was still uh, getting the business off the ground, trying to figure it out, working tirelessly, a little scared, you know, all, all of these things. So. It was impeccable timing for us to get that award. It was right when I needed it. It was that confidence boost, that spark of motivation, and more than anything, just that reassurance, like you're gonna be okay, you're on the right path, this is the trajectory you should be on. Our name is now in the public, it's out in the community, so that exposure helps. 99.9% .9 of all businesses are small, and there are 31.7 million of us in the US and we make up 44% of the US economic activity. So needless to say, us as minority owned and women owned businesses, we play a huge role in that community. And a lot of us, myself included, we're smaller, so we wear a lot of hats. We're scrappy, we're grinding, we're hustling, and that is in excellent um, example for a lot of people. I think a lot of people can learn a lot of lessons from that. And I think that has value in itself in the community. I have experienced more on the other side, which is advantages and how to, how to leverage being a woman-owned business for sure. People find that interesting because I'm a woman-owned business in the most male-dominated industry in the world, which is construction. But for me, that's been such an advantage. I'm different, so just by default, if I go into a room, usually it's with 20 males. I'm the person that gets remembered because I'm different, and that is so powerful. Everybody wants to walk away being remembered. That difference of opinion, I think it's opened a lot of doors. Like I've found that more people find it engaging and intriguing than the opposite. And I think it's opened a lot of doors that maybe otherwise wouldn't have been open. One thing the business community can do is not broad brush all these businesses and, and paint just this one picture. It's bringing us to the table, not just bring us to the table, bring us to the table to have a voice from the beginning, understanding what we are, what our capabilities are, and how we can help, and not coming in with it with this idea of who we are. It's being open and listening.